Yet again, hundreds of international investors in the oil and gas business have gathered here in Kampala alongside local players in picking finer details of likely requirements of supplies for the sector. International suppliers do not come to Fleur Ponticelli providing a solution that does not include national content. Whether that is during the execution phase or demonstrating to me your commitment through the ongoing operations and maintenance phases that we can then communicate to Total as the operator on the block. Robert Kasande, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Energy, is however voting for joint ventures between these different shades of business owners for purpose of mutual benefit. Our appeal is to, for you institutions of finance to um, engineer packages or solutions that will help Ugandans participate because it's, it will be very frustrating for Ugandans to build the capacity uh, in terms of knowledge but they are not able to afford uh, the, the capital expenditure that comes with one being able to participate meaningfully. But according to the Uganda Chamber of Mines and Petroleum, most of its membership remain in urgent need of timelines for the development of the central processing facilities, the refinery and pipeline in order to ease on preparations. The laws are in place. Uganda should be a hub. We want partnership between local Ugandans and foreigners who are here. Please don't go back on your plane, sit down on, and put in a seatbelt in an aircraft when you have not identified a, law, a, a local partner. Many observers, however, think that local and international financial service providers will have to quickly refine project financing to ensure relevant products for the oil and gas sector. Collaboration is going to be very key. Many, very few Ugandan companies actually have that capacity to do all these ventures alone. But the authority should try and take a lead role and ensure that, fine, as we do collaborations, certain we still ring fence certain aspects of those collaborations. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.